Hello everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now, I haven't been uploading too much recently because I haven't really found too much worth uploading. It's There's not really much going on with like new game releases. And a lot of the glitches that I've had been run across have been more so of um not not interesting like the hinder game progress. But, um, in this one, I'm going to actually show you how to get as mu pretty much infinite uh, EXP. Now, for this, you need, let me think, you need to beat the story. Now, this is going to have some spoilers a little bit. So, I mean, if you don't want to hear the spoilers stuff, then go away and come back when you do, I guess. Um, like, come back when you clear the game, and then you can listen. Um, but what you need to do is clear the game for the Brotherhood of Steel, instead of for, like, any of the other factions. What you do is, then you go to the Prid one here, which is just above the airport. But I can't walk there. And you're going to want to talk to... Proctor Teagan, I think it is, or Prote I, I can't. It's too early in the morning, and I've been sick for like a couple days, so I don't. <laughs> I just can't think right now. You go into the command deck, and then you're gonna go up this uh, this ladder that's like directly in front of you, but you gotta go around the stairwell. This one here to the main deck, and from here. You're gonna go forward to the first room on the right. And Bravo six four, report to Armor Bay two. Bravo six who this fellow. How did you describe didn't make it? Now that's something you're gonna hear a lot. Blah blah blah. Okay. Completed learning curve and I got my XP. Uh, if you go to him and you hit assist on patrol. Handle another patrol. Good. Good. Uh -huh. I'm gonna skip time, through, the and the scribe always spawns in the same spot. For this, you're gonna need, um, actually I'll show you, you're gonna need a rifle. Just like a long range sniper rifle. Like that. I've been using a suppressed one, you don't need a suppressed one as far as I can tell. I mean, from what I've seen, you can kill people with the fat man, kill it with the fat man. And I'll take a look. But I'm just going to show you that this dude sells stuff that you might want to use. Um, like you could use the, the weapons that he sells you essentially to go do what you're going to do. But um, okay. Let's go down here. Once again from Proctor Teagan's room you go down the stairs here. I just took you back to that shop right there to show you that if you didn't have a long range rifle sometimes he does carry marksman rifles. Man, recording when I'm six always so much fun. But I want to get these videos out of there a little bit before they get patched, of course, which is probably going to be like the first patch that they do in the game if they do a patch. Now, from that door, you're going to come down those stairs over here. The dude that I watched went all the way down there, but you don't need to if you've got like a high enough sneak because there's usually a night stationed right there. Here, I'll actually show you exactly where they're stood, that way I'm not just pointing in a general vicinity. Um, right where this body is. <laughs> I just pickpocketed the fusion core out of their suit and then shot him in the head. That way I wouldn't have to deal with it. And then I stole the suit and parked it in one of my settlements. But, um, from here, you'll want to look about here and zoom in. It's going to render in all the dead people, of course, but then this one fella right here. One hit. Two hit. Now, what I just did was, I just killed the scribe that I was supposed to report to, just like I had with all these other ones. And then if I go back to Tegan and tell him that the scribe didn't make it. How's my inventory? I'm tired of seeing this minigun. I'll break 
take it down. But, um, you go back to Teague and then you essentially tell him that the scribe died in the line of duty and then he will give you roughly like 438 XP. So, I mean, for those people like me, I was... I played through the story, and I, I prefer to go into the story at a lower level because it's it's more Attention. difficult. This is a to and I came out of it at like level 30. How did this and I'm tired. I got tired of grinding after like level 43. Plus, tons of bottle caps. Okay, and you just saw me do it, so I'm gonna run and do it one more time. The patrol is right. Let me see if I gave her hey. a fat man. Point out. I don't think I did, but... What you need and I'll get nah, hell, I'll go get my fat man launcher and we'll, uh... Actually, I don't think I can because I upgraded it to the Merv launcher, so... It wouldn't make it that far. Eh, oh well. I'll just shoot him with this rifle again. I mean, you can do it from the ground. But it's just much quicker if you do it from up here. Um, seeing if I have anything else that I can do it with. I mean, I could use this, but I don't have a sniper scope on it. Really should take either take the scope off or put a sniper scope on it. I normally don't have a scope on this one, but I'm doing it for this. Hey, same right there. Different outfit, but he matches that fella and that fella. I think they have a total of three outfit sets that they can use. They have the one that he's wearing, they have one with like a welder's helmet on. And uh... Boom. And then they have like the one with the trench coat. But this will uh... Be showing off two things. It'll be showing the glitch EXP and me hitting 50 for the trophy that I've been trying to get. Now, I mean, if you're not into using glitches, that's fine. I'm just trying to uh, put these up there for people that do want to see how to game the system a little bit. And, you know, I get tired of leveling. Like, I've got three characters, all of them are like level 45. Except this one. The scribe died horribly with a couple sniper rounds in the face. Rather durable, they took the first one. Just exercise a tad more caution next time. Uh-huh. Neither. Not right now. Okay. Well, there you go. That's just... That's the, uh... That's the glitch. It's really quite simple. It's... If you have a, um... A more powerful version of the sniper rifle. My girlfriend has a, uh... She has a sniper rifle that she's upgraded to 50 cal that shoots two bullets at the same time. So she'd be able to one-hit kill him consistently, which would make it go faster. But yeah, now I'm just going to show you the um, the second benefit to this, which is if you're ever running low on healing items. So let's load down to the bridge one. Or not off the bridge one, that's what I'm on. And, um... Essentially, all of these people that I've killed have had bottle caps and stim packs on them so that they could heal up during the mission. That way it's not just, you know, really difficult for you. But, um, what we're going to do is we're going to run down here to their corpses. Show you that you can loot them. I mean, you already saw that, but I'm just covering it. Actually, you might not have seen me looting them. You might have, I don't remember. Other than that one... Yeah, they also have these steel hollow tags which give you steel and have like next to nothing for weight. So I always pick those up. I mean this fellow, but yeah. Like fusion cells and uh stem packs. They have ammo and I mean hell if you want the armor you can have the armor too. And you don't need to sneak to steal it, it's just they're dead, they don't need it anymore. And I mean, if you ever want a suit of power armor, you can know, always just sneak up on somebody and take the, uh, this thing right out of it. But, okay. So, I'm gonna end this looking at, um, Big Mofo here. Optimus Prime, as my girlfriend called it. And honestly, I thought that was kind of funny, so. Um, I'll end the video here, and 
hopefully when a new game's released, I'll have more videos up, but right now it's just kind of like a midway point where I don't really want to record Fallout, but I might. Actually, you know what, hell, I'm gonna make a new character, and might as well record it. Alright, well, um, this has been me showing you the glitch EXP in Fallout 4, and apparently announcing that I'm gonna do a series on it, which, yeah. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.